Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? So, y'all, it looks like y'all finna come into some type of generational wealth, some type of large amount of money, okay? Some type of success. Maybe something took a very long time for you here, okay? Yeah, it looks like God is going to bless you with some type of generational wealth, y'all. A lot of success. Okay? If something was going slow for you for a while, that is picking up now or it's getting ready to pick up here. Okay? Whoa, that's good with this Ace of Pentacles. Let's see what this is, Chad. Yeah, y'all are entrepreneur. I was just going to say if y'all got a business or something and it end up coming out anyway. So, yeah, look like y'all are an entrepreneur. If something was going slow, that's picking up. You could be seeing that that's picking up here. Or like I say, it's getting ready to pick up here, all right? And the money that maybe you want to make here or whatever it is that you, you know, you... You wanted your money to pick up and be able to like do or buy or whatever. You're going to be able to get it and you're going to be able to um, do it. Let's see, give me some more here. Yeah, you all have a strong faith in God here. Okay. And that is why God is blessing you with so much wealth and, and you know, blessing you with everything that you have been praying for is because you're patient okay and you put him first you're very humble you're not jealous you're not envious you know you wait on your turn you're happy for others even if people get something before you you know what i'm saying no matter what it could be whether it's uh, in their career it's money if it's love you're happy for people and you just wait on your turn you know what i'm saying you congratulate you ain't no hater and that is why God is blessing you. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, you all got it out the mud here. Okay, so it's like ain't nobody handed you nothing. The, the the money that you're about to get or the money that you're coming into right now, okay? Because some of you all are seeing your money coming up right now. Like some of you all, this is probably the most money you've ever had in your whole entire life. Like you ain't never touched this kind of money before, but it wasn't given to you. Like you worked hard for whatever this is. Like the even the money that's coming in to you here is because you worked hard at something. And God is just doing the rest. So it's like, you know how they say faith without works is dead. So this is what's going on here. Okay. It's like you still work hard and put some type of work in or effort in. And it's like God is like doing the rest here. Yeah. So it's victory after hard work here, y'all. Okay. But it's a lot of wealth coming in here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, something is getting ready to change here. All right. But you got a um a king of pentacles that I feel like could be in regret because his heart was blocked off or he was very guarded with you in the past and i feel like whatever didn't work out between you and this person here i feel like it just caused you to boss up and level your life up like you 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 focused less on this person and you focus more on your career and your goals here okay and you know what y'all everything happens for a reason not saying that this person was a distraction from your goals but it could have most definitely been a situation to where you was more so worried about this person's healing. You were more so worried about this person staying afloat, things going well for this person, sending this person love and light, 
making sure that this person uh, is covered and this person is practicing self-care. It, it's almost like maybe you were worried about this person a little bit too much to the point where it was more than yourself. You could have been praying for this person more than you was praying for yourself. You could have been wanting more things to go right for this person more than you wanted to go right for yourself. So it's not that you're being selfish. It's 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 almost like you have to pour inside you. You cannot be of service or any help or any use of anybody else until you're of use of yourself, until you're there for yourself. You see what I'm saying? So some of you all were like neglecting yourself. You were the things that you needed to be doing. You kind of put that aside or you wasn't putting as much effort into it because you were so focused on whoever this King of Pentacles is. So it definitely could have been where you had to kind of draw your energy back. Let this person work out whatever it is that they need to work out. Let this person do whatever it is that they're going to do. And you focus on yourself, especially if he was blocked off. If your person was in a two of swords energy, his heart was blocked off with you. That means you was loving on him the best of your capability. You were loving him. You were giving to him, but you wasn't getting anything. And also you were neglecting yourself. You could have been giving yourself just a little bit. So if he wasn't giving you anything and you was barely giving yourself anything, you was getting a short end of the stick. You see what I'm saying? So it was meant for you to pull your energy back because it had to be uh, it had to be balanced. You see what I'm saying? It couldn't be where you were neglecting yourself and you was giving your all to this person and giving everything that you got to this person. Like, no. So... A separation had to happen because you all had to learn boundaries. You had to, you, it's not like you, you were in a two of swords energy because no, you all exude love. It's just that you were giving too much and you were neglecting yourself. You was putting everything on hold and everything aside because you were more so focused on this relationship or this person. So now that you have pulled your energy back, now you have been able to focus on yourself, practice self-care, self-love, focus on your goals, your dreams, your passions, your career, everything. And so now that's why you have touched so much money and seen a whole lot of money, more money than you have ever seen in your whole life because you have been focused on the right things and less on this person like I said it's not you being selfish it's not to say that you don't love this person or you don't care about this person's healing or what he got going on it's just that it was time for you to focus on you and it was time for this person to focus on them you see what I'm saying this person had to learn how to pray for themselves this person had to learn how to practice self-care this person had to learn how to get a close relationship with god so they can have that covering so they wouldn't solely be depending on you to do it or solely depending on your love this person had to learn how to do things on their own and you had to focus on you okay and now that you're doing that baby you done came into so much money and this is not even half of what god is going to give you it's more than where this came from. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's been you and God working on this here. Okay? Because you put the work in. It's saying that you got it out the mud. So you started something from nothing. You started a little bit of something and you turned it into something and it's major. It's big. You're, you're, you're getting paid a lot of money with whatever it is that you're doing. And baby, this ain't even a half. See, God just needed you to, to work on it and start it. And he like, I, I'm going to handle the rest. I just need you to do your part. So now that you done did your part, baby, you, you finna see so much money. You ain't never seen it before. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of success, y'all. A whole lot of success. The Ace of Pentacles is a lot of success. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's going to prosper. Everything. Spirit is saying trust in your trust on your own instincts and ideas. This ain't the time to be collaborating right now. Not right now. Not in this building stage because y'all are still building for whoever reading this is for. Trust your own instincts. This is not the time to... Now, it's okay to be sociable. It's okay to... Uh, you you know, if, if people want to give you advice, it's okay. But really, this is not the time for you all to be 
collaborating with nobody. This is the time right now for you to be uh, relying on your on your trusting your own instincts and ideas right now. Okay, your own creativity. It's just you and God right now. Okay, not saying that you can't one day collab with somebody, but not right now. Okay, not right now. Spirit said that's the truth. Right now, you need to protect whatever it is you're creating. Okay, so if it's still in the building stage, y'all, you want to make sure that whatever it is that you're working on and doing, you kind of keep it to yourself. It's not the time to be broadcasting your money, what you're doing, because your success going to speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? So protect your energy, protect whatever it is that you're building and creating right now. Okay, if you show, you know, at some point, you are going to collab. You know, you are going to make business partnerships, okay? Because it says business partnership, you know, would be advisable sometime, at some day, okay? And it says teamwork is essential to achieving your goals, okay? Because people are going to see your success. They're going to see your hard work here. And you're going to have people that's going to want to work with you. But right now, Spirit is saying right now, trust in your own instincts and ideas. And eventually, others are going to help. They're going to gravitate towards you. Okay, yeah, you all are about to meet your soul tribe. So it's like people that that didn't serve you, God has removed them or are or currently removing them here because I feel like you had people in your life that was keeping you stuck and stagnant. Okay, and you're and God is about to replace all the people that left your life or you had to cut off with your soul tribe with people that's gonna love you, that's gonna support you here. Okay, with people that really care care about you here. Okay, you got a king of pentacles that's going to, uh, God is going to bless you with here. Okay, so you all both are going to have generational wealth together. You all are going to be like building a legacy together here. This person is very sophisticated and he's going to be very successful too. So when God bring you all together, you're going to be successful. This person is going to be successful and y'all are going to build a beautiful life together, a beautiful, successful life together here. Okay, both of you all are going to be very successful when you all come together. It's not going to be where one struggling, the other one struggling. No, both of you all are going to be very successful when y'all come together here. And that is how God wanted here. Both of you all are very hardworking. Okay, so y'all, when y'all come together, y'all ain't going to y'all ain't going to have to worry about no money or no materials because or no success because that's set in stone. The only thing that y'all going to be doing is creating a family. You know? Yeah. Yeah, this person, I'm telling you, with the Six of Pentacles here, y'all, y'all gonna both been a gain control over y'all financial life. So like I said, y'all ain't gonna have to worry about no money. Y'all success, y'all career, or none of that because that's gonna be set in stone. The money that y'all want, y'all gonna already be making. This is success that y'all want, y'all gonna already been and have that. So y'all ain't gonna have to worry about that here. Okay, it says both of you all have developed an understanding of financial success and how to manage it. So like I said, y'all have definitely gained control over your financial life and everything is on the up and up in that direction because it says it's a lot of success in your business. Whatever it is, whatever kind of business you got, it's a, it's a success in your business and sales. Okay, yeah, so you're doing very well at this current time here. All right. If you all were ever behind on payments or if you all were dealing with something, baby, you ain't going to have to worry about that now, okay? You will never be behind on the payment again. You will never not be able to go nowhere because you ain't got the money no more. You will never be able to put your kids, if you got kids, in the best school or whatever or get them whatever it is that they want again because you're going to have it. God is blessing you with the wealth to where you ain't never got to go without again, ever, and you're about to have a man that's I'm t the same success God blessing you with. God is about to bless you with a man with the same type of success. So both of y'all together, oh, baby, y'all going to have a lot. Okay. Yeah, and look, Empress, you the Empress. Okay. Yeah, the, and look, create creativity. So you all are steady birthing new ideas here. Okay, with this Empress. Now, some of you all could be having a child with this King of Pentacles, but I'm getting this is y'all birthing new ideas here. Okay, yeah, Spirit is saying it is okay to be in Hermit. It's okay to be in Hermit. 
But some of you all going to have to get outdoors a little more. Okay? Yes, yeah, some of you all need to enjoy outside or uh, just get out and do things here. Okay? Even if it's just something dealing for your business, getting things for your business or, you know, meeting people or whatever. Because, baby, if you're in the house all the time, how are you going to meet your soul tribe? <laughs> okay, so the, and that definitely could be, you know, y'all getting out and going places and meeting like new friends and things like that. Like it could be where you come across, uh, you know, some beautiful people, but you ain't gonna meet them in the house because Spirit said you 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 spend too much time indoors and you need to get out more. Okay, I'm also getting with this King of Pentacles. If you are a person that you you always inside. He gonna want you to be outside some, y'all, because this King of Pentacles, I feel like, is uh, somebody that's uh, very sociable. He's like an extrovert, okay? And you, you all could be more of an introvert. Y'all like to be in hermit. Your, your comfort zone is in in the house, but Spirit is saying you gonna have to get out a little bit more, okay? But your success is bringing freedom material comfort security and protection for you here okay yeah but this person loved the fact that you're a great mother okay so you do have children for whoever this is for okay and he loved that you're a great mother and you all could have had to sacrifice a lot to make sure that your kids had whatever it is that they need even if at one time they didn't have what they want, you made sure that they had what they need here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody here could be healing from something. Because the four of swords came out, y'all. The four of swords could represent somebody that was sick and getting over an illness. Or if this is somebody here that's, that could have went through some things like chaos and and like something is like diminishing. It could have even been an extreme amount of stress. I feel like whoever was dealing with a whole lot of stress or dealing with some type of sickness, whether it was mental, physically, emotionally, or whatever... It's showing that somebody here is uh, finally at peace, okay? Like something is diminishing here, okay? Some type of battle that somebody was dealing with is ending here, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like your person is coming out of a tower moment. Your person could have had to, so your person could have went through some type of lessons or something while you all were, wasn't together. And your person is uh, coming out of some type of heart break energy because it did show he was in a two of swords energy when y'all were together. His heart was blocked off, but his heart was blocked off to keep from being hurt. Three of swords is your king of pentacles, is your divine masculine energy because... He experienced a lot of sorrow and loss in his life here, okay? He dealt with a lot of abuse in his life here, okay? Um, and because he was hurt in the past, he was inflicting hurt on you and other people here, okay? And he made a lot of mistakes when it came to picking partners in the past, and that's how he ended up getting hurt, and he made a lot of mistakes when it came to you because you were the one that he wasn't supposed to be blocked off with. But he was blocked off with you and he gave to all the wrong people who hurt him in the past. And it's like he made you pay for what people did to him in the past when he shouldn't have done that. Okay, so he, it, yeah, this person had to heal here. The star. Okay, this person had to go within and this person had to heal here. Okay, but it looked like you had a, a dramatic uh, effect on this man's life here. Okay, because it says contact with someone who would dramatically change your life. That person is you. You came into this man's life here. Soon as y'all came in contact with each other here, you dramatically changed this man's life here. Okay, and it's like your love saved him. Yeah, your love saved him. Your love helped free him. 
or something like that. But he did experience some type of lessons because I do feel like he did hurt you. And he had he had to um, go through some type of lesson or some type of karma here. To, you know what I'm saying? He had to pay off some type of karma debt for that. Okay? And things that he could have done here. But he is working on himself here with this Eight of Pentacles. All right? And this star. Yeah. Yeah. So this person here, y'all, he, he's finna get ready to ask for your forgiveness here. All right. Things are working out now for him because I feel like he's deciding to finally turn his life around and heal here. But this person want to reconcile with you and he wants you to forgive him here because he know he hurt you. But so he finna ask for forgiveness here. Okay. This person could also be doing something new in his career as well i'm also getting that here all right because maybe he was unfulfilled with something he was doing it's either he got a new position or he doing something totally new like when he come back in here okay because i'm also getting that but something is definitely getting ready to turn around between you and this person here but he's getting ready to make something right here but he's definitely he know that he wronged you and he hurt you in the past and he finna seek uh, a reconciliation he finna ask for your forgiveness here because he he know he hurt you here okay and he's hoping that you haven't moved on here so maybe you all been in separation for a while and he don't know what you're doing but he's hoping that you haven't moved on and he still got a chance to for y'all he's he hoping you you know he still got a chance okay for a second chance but this is somebody here, y'all, he coming in as this empress. Empress already came out, so you're in this empress energy here, right? But when he come in to seek a, a reconciliation, he's going to be in this emperor energy here, okay? Yeah, and he want to protect and defend you here, all right? He's going to love you, y'all, okay? Like never before here. This man got a lot of love to give, and then with this king of cups... He's in this king of cups energy the most, even though the emperor is all the kings. But when he come in, he's going to be in this emperor energy, but he's going to be in this king of cups energy. That's the, the king that he's mostly in, the king of cups. So he's definitely balanced out his emotions. He's very considerate. He's more responsible. Okay, this is somebody that's going to take accountability for his actions here. All right. And he's definitely, he's going to be in love. So he's going to be making decisions uh, from his heart space here. He, he's going to be more friendlier. And then I tell you, he's outgoing. So baby, if y'all been in the house, y'all better start going outside a little bit because this person is very outgoing. He's going to want to be outside with you though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, this person finna defend you. Okay. Yeah, this person is going to come in and defend you and protect you. Your person is going to get ready to try to undo something that he did in the past. <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm getting. He finna get ready to try to undo something, baby. Okay, so he finna, he like, look, this ain't over. This is not over. Let's see what this person got to say since y'all have not been in communication with each other. Spirit, what is this person's current energy? What is it that he want to say to the collective? How is this person feeling? What is his current energy what does this person want to say? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Look like your person want to uh, let you know that he see you doing your thing creative y'all didn't i say y'all birthed new ideas didn't i say whatever it is you know could have been going kind of slow for you or if it was going slow for you or something like that like it done picked up major y'all so y'all are definitely 
some type of entrepreneur and is doing so well. Like you're doing extremely well. Like I'm telling you, y'all could be doing multiple things. Y'all can have multiple business, multiple streams of income. Then I tell y'all, I'm t some of y'all finna get ready to be a whole millionaire. I'm telling you, cause that's the that's what I'm picking up on. Some of y'all finna be a millionaire. And when you and this man come together, you're going to be a millionaire. You're going to have your own success. Like, so it's not going to be this man coming in and just making you a boss or giving you this. No, you're going to have your own level of success when y'all come together, baby. You hear me? So, yeah, this person, see how creative. So he could be wanting to congratulate you, celebrate with you. Some of y'all inventing something. Some of y'all finna be an inventor. Oh my goodness. Yo, some of y'all finna get ready to invent something. <gasps> what is y'all finna invent, child? What is the collective? It's finna get ready to invent. It says y'all got a great imagination. So some of y'all is inventing something, baby. I, now it could be some of y'all or all of y'all. Some of y'all finna invent something. Like, ain't nobody ever came out with whatever this is. I don't even know if y'all even know that this is something y'all finna do. Or I'm telling you, some of y'all, you just don't know what all God got in store for you. Because y'all so creative. Y'all about to invent. Man, what is this? The collective about to even, in, uh, invent. Being so nosy, y'all. That's if it's it. Okay, it's hidden. The moon. The moon. It's something. It's hidden. So spirit. So it's it's something y'all finna invent. But spirit don't want me to speak on whatever this is with this moon. So it's something that's coming up, y'all. It's not meant to speak on whatever this is you inventing. But y'all about to invent something. I'm telling you, if not all of y'all, some of y'all, and maybe this could be very specific, but you're very creative, baby. You you finna be a millionaire, you hear me? Or, or a billionaire, child. You finna be a baby. You finna have so much bank. It's like you, you can't envision something in your head. And it could be something that ain't nobody ever thought of. Like, you're so imaginative. You're so creative. And it's like, whatever it is in your head, you finna bring it to life. Like, and I feel like it's gonna be multiple things. That's why I said, that's why God said right now, trust in your own instincts and your creativeness right now. Because you're building something right now. But once you get, once you... Maybe get all of these ideas together and you put it together. Maybe that's when God going to want you to start collabing with people. But right now, that's why I said it's the building stage. Because maybe all of these, God is, like all of these ideas is bombarded. It's like, it's it's like take you like, oh my God, it's so many things that I want to do. I want to do this. I want to come out with that. Okay. But you finna get ready to do it. And you gonna have people that's wanting to work with you, y'all. I'm telling you. Child, you finna, ooh, y'all finna have so much money. Some of y'all don't even see what this is yet. I'm telling you. You gonna see it in a minute. Now, whenever you get this, y'all, I need y'all to contact me. <laughs> okay. And then, look. On, the, on this other side right here, you got, I can provide everything. So, baby, even though you finna invent something, even though you an entrepreneur, you a, a boss, or some of y'all finna be a millionaire, have a whole lot of money, your person still want to provide everything that you want. Because he know that you a hard worker. He know that you can, you know, you can, you, you, you can do good on your own. But he like, I don't, I don't care that you making that money, baby. I'm finna still provide everything that your heart desires. So you still gonna have this King of Pentacles still wanting to spoil you and do things. And let him. And let him. Okay? Baby, cause that's what he wanna do. Let him. Chaz, he wanna spoil you, baby. Okay? 
Let that man do what he do. Woo. Look, I'm telling you, look, a, a reconciliation is taking place really, really soon, y'all. I'm telling you, but y'all had to do something. Oh, oh my goodness. Y'all about to get a house built. You and this man finna get ready to get out. Baby, y'all the first people that's about to be in this house. So y'all, y'all finna get ready to get a house built. It's so much that's got that God finna get ready to bless you with, baby. You hear me? Oh my God, y'all don't even see it coming. Yeah, I'm sorry for hollering, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Y'all finna get a whole house built. Y'all gonna be the first people to step foot in this home, and y'all finna get it built how you want it. Lord have mercy. Y'all just don't know. Ooh, the blessings God got in store for you. Baby. Look, this person said it feels good when you have met a you. 50-50 love. It feels good when somebody love you back. And that's a fact. Hey, go listen to that song. Y'all know when whatever song ends up coming up, I be needing y'all to go listen to it. Because this person said it feel good when you have met a you. Oh, that's how you're going to be feeling. That's that's how you're going to be feeling too. It's going to be equal. Both of y'all are going to be like, oh my God, I've waited all my life to meet somebody like me. I have, I've been waiting all my life to give all of this love inside of me to somebody because it's so much to give. And I've just been holding all of it in so I'm about the best. And I just cannot wait to just give all this love to somebody. And y'all going to be able to finally give it to each other. And it's going to be so beautiful. Ooh. It's going to be like, y'all can finally exhale. You hear me? Like, it's it's going to be so beautiful, y'all. I'm telling you. Oh, my goodness. It's almost like y'all going to be crying like tears of joy. You hear me? Listen to that song by Faith Evans, Tears of Joy. Okay? That's another song. Go listen to it because that's how both of you all going to feel about each other. Your person like, look. If, if you got a woman and she love you, she's loyal and she love you, she treat you right, have nothing but the utmost respect for you, you better keep her in your life. And that's what your person finna get ready to do. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He thinking about you. This person thinking about you. When you listening to this reading, he could be thinking about you right now. He could be sitting in his room or his bed or his house. And he thinking about you. He miss your smile, your laugh. Okay. He he he's saying that he forever yours. You 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 for you forever his girl. You forever his lady. And he feel like he gonna be forever yours. Oh, this is so beautiful, y'all. Okay, so y'all finna get ready to get a, a call out the blue. Y'all gonna be getting a call out the blue, a random call, and both of y'all it's gonna make y'all day hearing each other voice and talking to each other after a long time, and both of y'all gonna be single. God gonna have it to where both of you all single, both of you all gonna be in balance things out in y'all life. Both of y'all are gonna be in a very 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 good place when this happens. So if stuff still look chaotic. It 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 ain't gonna be the time. You gonna know when. This is happening when this going to occur because everything going to be smooth sailing in y'all life. It's, it's with that six of swords. Everything y'all going to be out of chaos. Everything is going to be balanced in y'all life. Everything is going to be good. That's when God going to bring y'all together. I'm telling you. And and when y'all talk, you're going to see why God had y'all wait and why everything happened the way that it happened. Because baby... It's going to be so beautiful between y'all. I'm telling you. Your person going to be going, going to say, I see you doing well. I see you doing your thing. I'm telling you, that's, that's going to be the first thing that this man say to you. Because it say that he's going to say something about your creativity. And y'all going to be invented something or came out with something. And that's what he going to say. Yeah. He going to say, it's been so long. I thought you would have been a move on. But he going to be single and you going to be single. And he gonna he gonna speak on your creativeness or something that he's seeing you do. 
He's going to say, I see you doing your thing. I see you doing well. I'm telling you. Oh, my God, y'all. But, baby, I'm going to end it right there. Okay. But that is all I have for you all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. God love you. And I do too. Bye, y'all.